What's up WWE Champions Universe? This is Lee from Champions Chat and I am working through some requests uh, and today K Mark, not Kmart, that uh, remember Kmart, Blue Light Special? Yeah. Uh, K Mark is asking for a different, very specific build for Eric Bischoff in WO Executive. So, this is a little bit of a should you take Eric Bischoff six star gold, but it's a very specific moveset that we want to look at here. And it's this uh, black, black, and a purple. So, spinning back kick four MP black. Deal damage, choose a 7x3 area to make immobile gems. Repeated stomps, deal damage, choose a 6x1 area to make X break, that's 7 MP black. And then an 8 MP, so very high charge. Uh, purple, shoot kicks, deal damage, and choose 6 gems to make black. So just by the nature of how high charged these are, I'm going to say right off this is not really a feud build. I don't remember the Master Gym build for Eric Bischoff, but Master Gym had an amazing build for him for a while back in the day. But the reason we're running this one is because of this. The nearing end plate. Whenever you make six or more immobile gems, increase all of your gem damage by 350%. You can ignore that the veer plate's on there. Whenever you make four or more or break, four or more X break gems. Deplete 6 MP from each of your opponent's moves. That's more of a safety net for me in case Zombie Sammy really just brushes this off. Uh, also, we're on a 50% gem damage strap with double Fury 2s and a 35% all gem damage. So it is high but not unreasonable on the strap. Uh, Candy Store Account does have... Oh, in fact, hold on. I haven't had this on the last couple of videos. Oh, there we go. Candy Store Account does have both of the gears. So Immobile Gems are doing 175% and All Gems are doing 250% more damage. So this is a tour build. Uh, Ruthless Aggression Era, you know, NWO requirements, you know, etc, etc that you would go for. On the Entourage, you're going to run Mellow for... Uh, your purple moves start with four more MP and your black moves start with four more MP. And then you've got immobile gems do 100% more damage here. Immobile and black, 60 and 30. And then immobile one more time with 100%. And any color gem generation generates two more. So you're getting eight black gems with your purple move. Whew, that's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. And then, again, this is only in feud, but, you know, we're not feuding. In feud, you would get these bonuses right here as well, and that's a super, super easy to get moment. So let's see how he does, not in feud, up against Zombie Sammy, and uh, we will, you know, try something here. Try something here. So we got this. We'll put it, uh, we want black gems. Um, yeah, I like to not cascade this way. Oh, let's try it. All right, so we've done that. So now our purple gems are 342. Our black gems are 658. But wait. Okay, six by one area into X breaks. So let's put that right there because that will help me get that. Now, let's see, eight gems to make black. So, I'm going to try and set something up here, except I can't. Dang it. I can't because of that. Okay, there we go. Set that up. To skip one, I can't do that either. Okay, so board, board got me a little bit on this one here. But it is what it is. It is what it is. I'll just make these, make those black. All right. So, I'm gonna try and do this. There we are. Now, I'm gonna make that into a mobile gems. Now, our black gems are doing 9.95. Okay, so a million per. Plus, we can make more immobile gems. You know, it's fine. I don't really need to, but I can. I can do that right there. So now my whole board is something, right? Immobile gems or something. I'll just swipe down to that. Hit as much of it as I can. That was 29 million. That's not bad. 
That's not bad. We got him. I mean, that was a that was a one turn on a six star. Uh, but twenty nine million is not the best. What I wanted to do though, I'll see if I can set it up better this time, is I wanted to uh, use the X-Brakes. I don't want to put the X-Brakes on top because there's a much higher chance they're going to drop down. So I was trying to strategically put the ones down, that in the middle, and then the others on the top. But if there's better board placement, I wanted to create where I could swipe down and make a row break and get as many of those x break gems as possible. So if that wasn't, oh, this is, I think this is much better. If that wasn't apparent, that's what I was trying to do with it. So let's try X breaks. Actually, there is a row break right there, but that's not going to do me good because I'll overwrite them if I do it that way. All right, so now the trick is trying to make a five match. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and then going one, two, three, four, okay. Theoretically, I did this right. Theoretically. Ha <laughs> ha, I think I got it. All right, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Sweet buttered biscuits. I think we got this one. This is a Trixie Hobbit, sis. This is, it really is. It's a Trixie build. Uh, we're just doing this to get that one last gym into an X break. All right, so all's well. We've got, yep, 995 on our black and 524 on our purple. Oops, and 700 on our yellow. Drop this down, make a board break, and see what happens. Still 29 million after all that extra setup and work. So, I mean, it's not bad. He got beat both times, but yeah. Yeah, K Mark, um, not a bad setup. Not a bad build. 29 million is, is good. It's a lot of clicking. It's a lot of thinking, but I like it. I like the fun of it where you have to strategically put, you know, it's kind of like Charlotte Flair. It's kind of like your uh, Maxine, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, that was a very specific look at a very specific build. Would you run Eric Bischoff a different way in the six-star gold meta? Uh, you know, you've obviously got, like, I used to use this one right here, one by six into two-turn juggernaut gems, and then, you know, make them purple and all that good stuff. Uh, bonus damage per immobile is out. That is not going to, 29,000 is not going to fly, period. Isn't going to happen. Um, so, force opponent skip, that's great. One row to destroy, I mean, that could have worked instead of, well, no, because I have to have the black. Yeah, I mean, this is a good strategic build for this era. Uh, 29 million, though, and you got to have everything is is not like, uh, you know, there's other strikers that could do the job better. But still, pretty neat. Uh, K-Mark, hope this is uh, good for you and you enjoyed it. Let me know if you'd have done something differently or better. I'm glad to show that off if we can get to it. But uh, that's it for this one. See you on the next one. Bye.